Welcome to Farm RPG. Bellogan here. Today we're talking about the flour mill. This is currently in beta, but should be out pretty soon. Flour mill gives us some great options and things to do with wheat and changes up the way that you do farming just a little bit. So let's dig into it. Flour mill requires farming level 60 to build and it costs about 25 million to build. So it is rather expensive. But uh, for those of us with a lot of money, we look at 25 million as 25 million farming experience. Yes, please give me that. By the time you're farming level 60, it's still a, a, a bit to save for, but it's, it's fairly reasonable. So a lot of the information on the flour mill you can find in the library under building upgrades and then flour mill. Here it'll tell you it's 25 million to build, requires farming level 60. You'll notice there are no upgrades. Once you build it, it is done. So compared to a lot of buildings where your initial cost is low, but you're spending a lot of money to make it worthwhile, flour mill is not that way. So here's the way the flour mill works. You grow wheat and then you put that wheat in to be processed. So from your farm, you come to flour mill. In the drop down menu here, it'll show wheat if you have any available. If not, that'll be just a dash as it won't really select anything. It's a drop down menu indicating perhaps in the future there'll be other types of crops we can put in here. Maybe we'll see. Then in the next box over on the right, you have to put in how many you actually want to process. If you don't enter a number here, it remains zero. And when you hit go, nothing will happen. So in the library page, you can see I put one in here. You hit go and then you get a pop up that tells you loading how many wheat and how many flour. So you can see from this, the rate is 14 flour per one wheat and every flour takes one minute to produce. So one wheat will keep the flour mill running for 14 minutes. Then when you hit go, the flour just goes to your inventory. I suspect, I haven't tried it, I suspect if you hit your max inventory limit, this will probably halt up, but you can continually load more flour in here. So just because it's running doesn't mean it's locked like an auto crafter slot. You can add more to it and queue it up to be turned into flour in the mill. Really quick, I'll just show that to you. If I come to my lovely farm here and come down to the bottom where my flour mill is. So you've got wheat selected. I've got 15 currently. I can put one in there. I'm currently running 23 units. And what we want to do now is dig in a little bit to the numbers and see, is this profitable? How much better is it than just regular wheat? So let me come back really quick just to the library page we were at. Here we go, flour mill. So a single unit of flour sells for 25,000 silver. Now that's the base price. If you have your negotiator perks, that will be significantly more versus a wheat that sells for 22,000 silver. So if it was a one for one ratio, that would be pretty bad, but you're getting 14 flour per wheat. So it ends up being worth quite a bit more. So as always, I've got a spreadsheet to talk about the numbers and we'll just talk about what this means a little bit. So your initial cost is 25 million silver. That ratio is 14 to one for wheat. Sell price of, of a single wheat when you have your negotiator perks all maxed out is 36,000. Whereas the sell price for single flour when your perks are all maxed out is 4,000. So the sell price of 14 wheat is 56,000. So that's a 20,000 silver profit based off of, uh, or more silver sold, I should say, for 14 flour. The actual profit when you subtract the cost of the wheat seeds is 36,560. So it's a pretty good profit over just wheat itself. Looking at just some analysis on the grow time and how much wheat you need. This number tells you how many wheat you need to run the flour mill for 24 hours. So 103 wheat total will keep that flour mill running for 24 hours straight. That's useful when you're figuring out how much time do I need to spend growing wheat versus other crops. And the silver per hour you're going to generate. Now, this isn't profit. This is just the selling price of the flour is 240,000 silver per hour. Now, this is capped. It can't go any faster than that. This is as fast as the, the flour mill works. If you do that for straight profit over the day, that's worth about 3.7 million silver in profit. So that's actually pretty good. I did a comparison here to cotton saying, well, would it be worth it just to grow wheat nonstop? And uh, cotton, if you've got 32 plots, your profit per hour for all 32 plots is about 233,000 silver per hour. Um, with 36 plots, it's, it's 262,000 per hour. So looking at the analysis of profit per hour over across your, your plots with cotton isn't really a one-to-one -one or an apples-to-apples -apples comparison with the silver per hour from the flour mill because really this is dependent on how long it takes you to grow your 103 crops per day and then you would take that divided by your 3.7 silver so if you've got 36 plot and your um, double harvesting perks are are maxed out with 36 plots i can probably get that in two cycles of wheat which is just under 10 hours 
So you take this 3.7 million divided by 10, it's quite a bit more profit than, than cotton. For most people, it's probably going to take three growing cycles. However long that takes is however long it, it, it takes, um, depending on your, your quick farming perks. Also, cotton isn't available until you are a higher farming level, I believe 70. So compared to just straight wheat, this is definitely worth it. But the nice thing is, is you can grow your wheat that you need for a day or two, get your flour meal queued up, and then grow cotton in the meantime or whatever your best crop is. And that will help you maximize your, your profits in the long run. Additionally, flour is going to be used in baking skills potentially in the future um, with some higher level crafting options coming out. And that will make it potentially even more profitable than it currently is. But as is right now, even compared to cotton, uh, growing wheat for flour to keep your flour mill running is still more profitable in the long run. So it's not a huge injection of cash compared to like uh, throwing nets out on Lake Minerva, how much you're going to bring in a day, but it is an additional source of income. Additionally, that extra 25 million farming experience for building the building is always very welcomed. So there you have it. That is the flour mill. As always, thanks for watching.